guys how to, given a set of data, fit a model or equation to the data. So in this first cell here, I've artificially created some data. I did this by making an input vector, which is just um, a vector of various numbers between 1 and 30. And I applied them to the Hill equation, like so in here and added a little bit of randomness using randn, which is a MATLAB function that um, generates random numbers uh, within the normal distribution. So let's see what this data looks like here. So as you can see here, there is definitely a plot that kind of fits this, um, this equation here. But let's say that we didn't know what this equation was. We didn't know what these parameters were. Just given this data, how do we fit a curve to show what, it, what are those parameters? So the first thing we need to do here is we suspect that the data rep um, is generated by some function. Usually we get this from the mechanism, from literature, or from observation of the data. Um, you can kind of look at it and take a guess. Um, but you have to have some sort of general equation that you're not sure about. It's the parameters that we're trying to find. So I know that the relationship is probably based on this function. So we need to make an anonymous function here, um, which is basically just a function that doesn't, that isn't like a formal function, like function and end, but is a one line function in MATLAB. So what I'm putting here are the input arguments. So the input arguments uh, depicted by this at sign is P some set of parameters. So in this case, it would be the A and the N. And X data is the vector of input arguments that you're interested in or not input argument, yes, input arguments. Um, and then we have to specify how to use these parameters and x data to come out with an output. So in this case, we would just be using this equation. And don't forget the dot, because this is vectorized code. P1, we're going to let P1 represent A and P2 represent N. So P1 over, I'm going to add a parenthesis here, over x data, and then dot to the n, um, not n, p2, because that's what's representing it. So p um, is our set of parameters of interest, and that is the thing that we're trying to optimize um, with our equation. So let's add a semicolon there. And that function is done. And now we have to give the system some starting point to start the machine learning algorithm. So I'm just going to put in 1.1. One, one. Um, just about anything will do. You just have to make sure that it's within reason. Like, just check out the magnitudes of the equation that you would expect. So 1.1 one, one will do just fine. and. Now I'm going to actually use the least squ uh, squares curve fit function. So this uses uh, least squares linear regression or nonlinear regression because this is for curves. And you can use this for linear sets of data or nonlinear sets of data. It works better if it is linear, but you can use it for nonlinear equations as well. So to actually use this function, you have to it will return your optimal parameters, p. And um, you can also call this something else, like p new, like the, or p opt. I'll just call it p opt. And you call least squares curve fit. Uh, you may have to download a special um, toolbox for this on MATLAB, but it is free. And you will put in the function, the initial point and the input data and the output data of the actual raw data. So um, I will also want to print this optimized equation when I actually get it. So I'm going to put fprintf 
and then y equals 1 over 1 plus, and then I'm going to put percent %f for float, and that'll be a placeholder over x to the another percent %f for the second parameter. And then new line, just to make it a little cleaner. And then I'm going to put in P1 and P2 because that first percent %f is a placeholder for P1, and that second percent %f is a placeholder for P2. So let's run this code. OK, so this is our um, equation right here. As you can see, it's pretty close to what we had in this first um, part where we actually made the data. Like A is 1.96, which is pretty close to 2, and B is or N is 1.96, which is pretty close to N equals 2, which is pretty good. Um, now, let's say that I wanted to plot, see I have a, a, a plot of raw data here. Let's say that I wanted to um, plot this data with the predicted relationship. So I would do figure to open a new window, and then I'll do scatter in out. And then I will do hold on to basically say, wait a minute and let me print something else as well. And I'll do plot. And then I'll put an in and fun p opt in. So I'm putting in the parameters as needed and I'm putting in my input for this function. And I will also specify that I want a black line by dash K. And then I will hold off because I'm done plotting, but I do want a title. As well as a X axis label. and a y axis label. Okay, so let's plot this. And keep in mind that this is non-deterministic since every time I run it, there are new random numbers. So it won't look exactly the same. There might be different optimal values, but if you're using one set of data, it should not change. Okay, so turns out I do have the same um, inputs here. And as you can see here, this is a pretty good fit to the data. So this is how you use uh, least squares curve fit in MATLAB to make a, uh, to fit a model to raw data.